Hi, my name is Kyle Porter, and I'm a sales engineer here at Simba Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to connect Google BigQuery to Microsoft Excel. What you're looking at right now is the BigQuery web UI. I've already loaded a bunch of data on here. Uh, one of my projects is the AdventureWorks project, and I am looking at the DIM product table. So if we select that, we can see all the columns here. And we can actually query this table, so I'm just selecting everything. First thousand rows, or when I query in the web UI, and we can see a preview of our data. The next thing we want to do, now that we have data, and we already have our BigQuery account and data, is download the OWC driver. So go to www.simba.com, go to products, and click on Google. That'll bring you to this page, and on the right-hand side, just fill out the information for your free trial and try now. Note that when you try now, you'll download the driver and you'll be separately emailed a license key which you'll need for your trial. I've already installed the driver, so if we go to the ODBC administrator, 32-bit if you have the 32-bit driver installed, 64-bit for the 64-bit driver, go to the system DSN, and you'll see there's a a sample DSN already included here. So we can just configure that. And you'll be greeted with this configuration dialog. First thing you want to do is you want to sign in to allow the driver access to your BigQuery data. Hit sign in. And it will ask you for permission to view your data. Hit accept. Copy this code. And then paste it into the confirmation code section of your configuration. The driver will automatically go get a refresh token which is the unique key it uses when it's accessing your data. From here, we can select our, our project that we want to do analysis on, and then also our build project. Our build project is the project which is built by BigQuery or by Google once you've gone over the free, th free threshold. And this doesn't necessarily need to be the same as the project you're reporting on. Once we fill this information in, just hit test. And we can see we've successfully made a connection. Go OK. And now we can open Excel and we can do some reporting. So switch to the Data tab, go from Other Sources, and go from the Data Connection Wizard. Select the ODBC DSN. Select the sample BigQuery DSN, which we just configured. And now we'll go retrieve all of the tables. So we can choose our dim product table. And we can go finish. And OK. And now it's retrieving all of the data and pulling it back into Excel so that we can run analysis. And there we go. All of the data, and we can scroll down, and everything's present. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to find out more information or to download a trial of the driver, go to www.simba.com. And if you'd like to shoot us a question, email us at solutions at simba.com.